morning. So yesterday got away from me. Um, we left the house first thing in the morning, and I didn't come back until almost 11:30 last night. You get you get busy, and the last thing you think of is here, point a camera at me. The one thing I touched on in my last video was frame of mind. Um, I, I, I mentioned that I have a friend who had the gastric sleeve, lost 180 pounds, uh, who was a really a really successful guy. He's kind of famous, um, and he's now miserable after all the weight loss and and everybody telling him how great he looks. The thing that made him rich and famous was his restaurant and eating and being a chef and he's uh, not so not so happy anymore because now those things were kind of taken away from him in his mind. He does eat a bite of this and a bite of that and I was there and I said what are those and he said they're little homemade donuts and he took a bite of one and ten minutes later he was um, doubled over and he was really miserable and it had been like six months since he had the surgery and one little donut knocked him down so you know and he's and he just everything about it so you you got to expect that everything in your life is going to change kind of because the things the way that you look at life is going to change the way you wear clothes is going to change the way you fit into seats uh, whether it's an airplane or a restaurant or your car seat like i was getting to the point where my seat belt in my car was just barely getting to the thing like it was tight now there's plenty of room but you start to look at life a certain way when you're in the mind frame that you're just destined to be fat as much as we tried to diet as overweight people you never really lose enough you lose 20 you lose 30 sometimes you lose 50 but you gain back all of it plus 10 it seems to be the pattern so I don't think we ever really expected um, as overweight people when we dieted to, to get back to being not overweight. I think it was just trying to manage our overweight status, you know, levels of being overweight. So you got to make sure that when you do this, you, you don't expect an unrealistic uh, version of life because, you know, you're still going to have all the bullshit, but you're also going to have to adjust to a different way of thinking, a different way of, of being. And you have to get your head wrapped around it because I can see why it would upset people. We have a, a friend who told us about their friend having the surgery and, and he's unhappy. He left his wife, he walked away from his kids, he, he's in, in misery with his job that he had for a long time. It's like it changes the way you look at things and I think it's simply because you're, everything is upset, everything is tossed in the air and you just can't figure out how to put things back in place that fit properly. So before you have this surgery or if you've just had this surgery, you need to start compartmentalizing the way that you're going to live your life and the way that your life is going to fit together. Because I've noticed it myself, I've noticed some things that um, I just don't see things the same way anymore. But as I said in yesterday's video, I'm a glass half full kind of person. I'm a pretty optimistic person. And my wife has said that I'm better now than I was before. And you know, I think it has a lot to do with confidence and knowing what what you want out of this. And you know, I want to be healthier. I want to look better. I want to be able to buy clothes at a normal store. Like, just go out somewhere and say, "Oh, I like that T-shirt," and buy it. Not have to go, oh, I would be nice if I weren't fucking jumbo. Um, so that's something that you really need to get yourself ready for and and prepare for because you know I, I think a lot of the people who get this surgery and post videos and on blogs and things that say you know they regret this, they regret that, and they're they're having a hard time. I think it's about your mind frame and the way you're looking at things and the expectations that you have. It's like, you know, if, you have, if you're a drunk and your life's falling apart and you quit drinking, your life's not going to just miraculously get back together. You have to work at it. You have to be prepared to change. And that, you know, the reason that you got most, the reason that many of us got overweight is because of this. 
you know, some of us have just medical conditions or genetics or whatever, but even with genetics and medical conditions, if you really wanted to, you could, you could fight it. Um, and I'm not saying that a lot of us don't fight it. I'm just saying that it just seems like, you know, we got to the point where we were considering getting uh, weight loss surgery or watching videos like mine about weight loss surgery because we are out of control with a certain aspect of our life. So you have to learn how to get your life in control. Even if you have the surgery, it's not the answer to everything. It's the answer to one thing. And the rest of it has to come from in here and in here. And if you don't do it, you're going to end up just as unhappy as you were when you were fat. So that's it. That's all I have to say. I, I just need to point that out. I wanted to do a video based on that simply because it's just such a, a, an important thing. So uh, anyway, I will see you mañana. Have a great weekend.